Suspects are in custody after Washington Park police say they brutally beat an Iraqi war veteran and surveillance cameras caught it happening. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins joins us live with more on what police are calling a violent attack. Vic, the three victims are facing multiple charges after police say they allegedly beat the victim, leaving him for dead. The video is, 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 is pretty, pretty rough, pretty graphic. Um, it, this really hit home for us because the a young man is a veteran. Caught on camera, a violent beating of a veteran who served in Iraq. Police say the man was beaten and left for dead at this Washington Park mobile gas station on Kings Highway. The victim went to get gas when he was caught off guard. Horrible to think that you could go fight for your country. You raise your right hand and, and, and take an oath and say that you'll, you'll fight for your country. And then you come home after fighting the, the foreign enemies and you come home and you're at the gas station in your hometown and get beat up, it's, it's just tragic. Please say these three men have been charged in connection with the beating. Lamarcus Evans, Earl Agnew, and Deion Sanders. In the video, you can see the three men attacking the man, kicking him and leaving his motionless body on the ground, fighting for his life. Investigators say after the brutal attack, one of the suspects poured alcohol on the victim's face. The victim then was run over by a car. You commit any type of a crime, we have to send a message out here that we're going to work together. We, we worked with the East St. Louis Police Department. We worked with um, the, the county, state police, and Centerville to bring these gentlemen to justice. The three men have been charged with aggravated battery and mob action. The victim survived the attack and is at home recovering. Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.